What's up everybody? Welcome to Today Oregon and today I want to talk to you about something that's really something in the home improvement, home remodeling trade that's like it's going down the drain on quality control and I guess just passion and it's countertops. Now you wouldn't think like hey you know what let's just throw in some quartz and it's gonna look great. It doesn't work that way. There is a very big process behind countertops and I think you need to know about it. 20 years ago when I went into this trade granite was really in very popular and there was a lot of money to be made and there were really no cornice cut installing the, the granite countertops. It was just there was a lot of pride there was a lot of money involved. Now in 2021 you know countertop companies are a dime a dozen and the margins are super thin. So there's a lot of companies that are just constantly, you know, cutting each other on prices. And it's what's happening is the customer is getting the short end of the stick. So I'm going to get into why it's super important to listen to these steps when you go and actually purchase counters. Okay. So the first step is you need to ask what kind of machine they use to template the countertops. If they use pen and paper, walk away because that means you're going to have nothing but problems. I've had owners of companies come and template with their pen and paper over the years. And I've always shook my head and I was like, dude, where is your computer with your pen template measure? Oh, I don't need that. Every time I say, I don't need that. I've been doing this forever. Do you know what happens? Sink base goes off. Countertops don't fit seems look ugly because it's on a piece of pen and paper. If you don't get an email that is a nice computer sketch of your template, red flag, don't sign it. You need to have a company come out with the computer machine that does the template. That is period. Number one, the most important aspect of a countertop install. The company needs to use a computer, okay? Period. End of story. Because you just have nothing but problems, and I'll get into them in a minute. The second most important part of installing countertops is on the installer, aka me. Everything needs to be level. Not a half inch off level, not three quarters of an inch off level. These countertops need to go in level. And why do they need to go on level? It's because you could countertop installers could only shim so much before you have a huge ugly gap under the countertop. And it also makes it also makes the countertop not as strong because it's not sitting on a full surface. You do not want that because you could have a crack down the line. It looks ug ugly right under the countertop. If you install tile, it's going to be off. That's also going to look ugly. If you're cooking your eggs, your eggs are gonna go to one side or eat pancakes, they're gonna be like, what's going on here? It's because your stove isn't level. Or your tile looks ugly because the counter's not level. So you have to make sure your contractor knows what they're doing and installs a level kitchen. Super important. Now, if you have a good countertop templater, they're gonna check level. And if it's not level before everything's installed, they're gonna make you make it level. So right there, that's the two most important aspects of installing countertops. Now, the big issues that you need to look for when people are installing countertops, the first thing is how much gap you have on the sides, back, and side. Now you see, look at this. This is perfection. This counter is kissing the wall. Same thing. This countertop is kissing the panel with maybe a 30 second of a gap. This went in per like perfection. Look at the back. There is nothing, no gap. Now they know we're tiling, right? So check out the tile. This tile is gonna sit like this right here and look how good that's gonna look. It's gonna look perfect. 
And this is what you have to look for. This video is what you ex should expect when you get your countertop installed. If it's any less, complain. Okay, and we have the same thing here. Look at this. Perfectly square. Back is perfect. Everything is perfect here. And I've been waiting a long time to do this video. That is what to look for on the top. Now, remember when I was telling you about level? The next thing you need to look at is on the bottom. Underneath. Let's take a look. This is what you want to see. You want to see no gap underneath your countertop. You see that right now that's actually clear silicone that's gonna, it's white but it's gonna turn clear, that's just how it is, it's called translucent actually. But there is no gap whatsoever. There's no huge shims and that's how it should look. All right, now let's go to the, to the actual back. Look at that. There's nothing. It is sitting flat as a pancake on the countertop. Same thing over here. Look at this. That is what you need to see. Anything else? Unacceptable. That's what you need to look at. I don't want to make this video too long, but what I also need you to do, I, I'm serious. Don't look at the cheapest bid. Now you think, oh, quartz is all the same. No big deal, I'll go with the cheapest company. And court, buying quartz or buying a countertop, it's not like buying a car. I understand all the quartz are the same or whatever, but you have to take into consideration that you have the template person to come, they need to be really good. And the good guys get paid pretty well. And then you need the template guy or girl to go to the fabrication side of the company and give them proper plans to cut everything correctly. Now, you're gonna pay a little bit more money for that. It might be five, 10% more, but you want to have a nice looking kitchen, right? You're spending 30, 50, 100, 200 grand on your kitchen. You know, what's an extra thousand or 1500 for your countertops? It's, it's so worth spending that extra, extra money. Now this company that did these, these counters are some of the best. I've used them in the past. I've met the template guy. The template guy is actually, I think he's worse than me because he's just so thorough. Like it puts a smile on my face. It's actually kind of annoying. <laughs> so, but he keeps me on my toes and I appreciate that. So that is my little rant about countertops and installs. And I feel like every consumer that's going out to buy a kitchen countertop should definitely watch this video and take these tips to heart because again, you're spending a lot of money and you want your money well spent. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, things I missed, um, please put them in the comments. And again, if you like this video, please like it. And if you like all my videos and the content I put out from pizza to countertops to boats to whatever, subscribe. Um, so again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.